What is Inktober? Well, it's 31 drawings in 31 days, but with a nice twist to it, all thanks to Jake Parker. So every October, artists all over the world take on the Inktober challenge by doing one ink drawing a day the entire month. Jake Parker created the Inktober challenge in 2009 to improve his inking skills and develop positive drawing habits. It has since grown into a worldwide endeavor with thousands of artists taking on the challenge every year. And the best part of it is, anyone can do Inktober. Just pink up a pen and start drawing. Did I say pink up a pen? Pick up a pen, Bleh, excuse me. So, for this video, what you're seeing in the background is actually me drawing one of the challenges. If I remember correctly, this was day three. Whichever day it was, this one is underwater. I wanted to do a very goofy, wet, random crossover. So, I'm gonna wait till the end to say exactly what this crossover is, but if you guys guess it ahead of time, let me know in the comments. Um, obviously, one of them is Mario and Luigi, because they're pretty obvious, but I want you guys to take a guess at who I'm drawing now, and where they're from, and that other dinosaur that I kind of drew above them. I mean, it's I, not really a spoiler what that is. It is. It's obvious that it's a dinosaur, but you'll see in a minute here. I just wanted to talk about that. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So I am doing good so far with this challenge, 12 days in, and this is actually my longest art challenge I've ever done for Inktober in general. And let me rephrase it actually. Um, with any art challenge in general, this is my longest one. So I decided to do it with Inktober being my first one in general because I love this challenge. And I found out about it last year. I was halfway through, we were halfway through the month before I found out about it and I was kind of sad. So I decided that next year, I'm definitely going to do this. So at the end of the month, I will have a showcase video for them. In the meantime though, you can check them out on my Art Amino page. You can check it out in the link below that I'll leave. And yeah, I know I could have did the challenge next month or do it like that, but I figured it'd be more official if I got to join in with all the other artists who were doing it and make it more official that way. And as I said before my other videos, uh, I mainly focus on inking drawings and other things like that. So honestly, I was having all types of Inktober challenges to be honest outside of that, but now it's more official and I feel great about it. I've always wanted to get better with my artwork and overall craft. To not only be better, but to someday inspire, bring joy and motivate others too. I know I say that a lot, but it's my passion after all. I see so many on YouTube today who are living that dream. Creators who, with each video, do just that. I've been watching a lot of Draw With Jazza recently, and it got me thinking. Him and so many others, I have so much respect for and thanks to give. Successful being doing, by doing what they love, and that I have to keep at it if I want to do the same. Because for a while, I haven't been drawing a lot like I should have. I just started getting back into it this year. Within the past year or so previous, I was kind of on and off, just kind of drawing whenever I just thought, well, it wasn't really as often as I should have. It was every blue moon, basically. So I had the time, but I just did other things instead. Granted, I love doing many things like writing, voice acting, etc but I just didn't really draw when I should have. And I'm currently 25. So by the time I'm 26, I wanna see some major differences. By this time next year, my goal is to have a thousand subscribers, or at least be close to hitting that on YouTube. My goal is to have the current book I'm writing published and finally properly start the series I've been developing for years. My goal is to be able to confidently be able to color things in watercolor, marker, digital, etc. I want to shade better, crosshatch, overall draw better. I have the passion for it. When you have that, you can and will accomplish what you want. It may take a while, but you will do it. Especially when there are reasonable stepping stones to do that. 
For instance, this month with Inktober, I am focusing on bettering my inking skills. Next month, I will focus on my coloring for a whole new challenge. Then start bringing it all together to a balance after that, consistently. I've grown addicted to Draw With Jazz's content because of all the many things that are in his content. Uh, I remember one was drawing with just a whiteout, you know, the just the whiteout stuff, just using that liquid on black paper, and it was almost like, <laughs> it was insane. You couldn't really tell the difference. It didn't seem like it was a challenge to him at all, but I mean, at the same time, it is, because he never did it before, but you would think he specialized in that type of artwork. But when you think about it, all it really was was a different type of pencil to him. <laughs> and it came out amazing. I want to do different stuff like that. I actually bought some whiteout pencils and I have a black sketchbook that my wife gave me. And I can't wait to try that style out and see what I can create with that. All inspired by Draw Jazz's channel. I never thought to try something like that before. So now, here I am doing it. So stuff like that, you know, ex making content like that to bring the thought to other people who haven't thought of trying that before. I never thought to do that before. Of course, there's white charcoal pencils and white ink pencils out there, or pens, pens I mean, but trying it differently with different things like that is just awesome. So same goes for others like the game theorist, Markiplier, Iberlisi, and the list goes on. There are a lot of people out there who do variety of things on their channels and that is why I do the same thing with mine you know I focus on reaction videos drawing videos and gaming videos those are the main things I want to have on my channel with occasional vlogs too and the podcast stuff and going back to the Art Amino app I downloaded it the other day which was recommended by Jelly Bee, if I remember correctly another artist on here and it's been giving me an outstanding amount of networking in such a short time. If you're an artist or even a fan of it, I definitely recommend it. And I actually look forward to, because of this, starting um, doing commissions. I haven't really done that before, really advertised that sort of thing. But I know at the moment I'm really, my best is, you know, penciling and inking. Um, penciling is definitely my strongest suit so far because, I mean, that's the most basic form of drawing. <laughs> so I want to start doing commissions, and I want to start advertising that soon and get a pricing guide done, you know, if you just want a uh, character design or a realistic portrait of yourself, things like that, and get pricing done for that and work on that. And as, my, as I grow more with my digital artwork, my coloring in general with watercolors and stuff like that, I want to start expanding on that and be able to do commissions for other people too and feel confident when someone walks up to me and or just approaches me and says can you do this for me i want to see i want to have this for my draw my 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 company or this video or just something to hang in my room whatever you want and to get back into doing that because i've, I've done that before and i thought it was really fun even when there wasn't money involved, I just want to do it for people just because I love doing it. So, going back to this picture, because I actually didn't talk about this picture at all through the video. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about all that other stuff real quick. This was a really fun picture to draw. I think it was honestly my favorite one out of the, one of my favorite ones out of the 12 days in general. I, from the get-go, was kind of just planning it as I went. I originally knew I wanted something like this, but originally I knew I wanted to have Mario and Luigi in it. I, I kind of threw Bowser in there randomly. I knew I had to draw, uh, I wanted to draw Luigi actually being the one saving the day. You know, of course Mario was there and he kind of got messed up, knocked unconscious, so Luigi's there being, you know, the big brother. I, actually, no, Mario's the big brother. Well, you know what I mean. Luigi being a brother and helping him out. <laughs> And I decided to throw Bowser in there randomly because I haven't really drawn Bow I've drawn maybe Bowser once before. It's been a while. I don't do fan art that often, so I thought it'd be a blast to draw him, especially in his uh, Super Mario World little flower thing. And if you didn't guess it by now, this is a Super Mario World and Jurassic Park uh, what's it called? What's it called? Cro uh, crossover. So. 
from the beginning I knew I wanted to have like Dr. Grant in there. Well, no, 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 rephrase that. From the beginning I knew I wanted to have a Spinosaurus in there randomly. And then I decided to do um, someone like Dr. Grant. Originally I was gonna do Ian Malcolm, but I thought, whatever, I'm just gonna do Dr. Grant. And I didn't know how I was gonna put him in there. So I thought to do a random little uh, cartoon version of him in the scuba gear with the walkie talkie. The river, sight be, you know, from Jurassic Park 3. And I thought, why not? <laughs> I threw a random pipe in there. I didn't really get to finish the background because I was running out of time. Most of these drawings I've done at work, but yeah, so that was the finished piece there. And here are some other uh, artwork shout outs by some other great artists who have done many things for Inktober. The links to their channels will be in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video and the content that was in it and my commentary as well and my goals that you will see on this channel and uh, Art Amino as well. That is pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, leave a message in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the wind hits our sails yet again, see you in the next Odyssey. Later days.